sure do wish this was touchscreen. Now, as y'all saw a few weeks back, we got the Algo Laser Alpha. Put it all together, did a few tests with it, and machine works great. But they over at Algo Laser wanted to take it another step further. And not even two months later, we have this beast right here. It actually comes touchscreen. So we're able to sit here, pull off the USB or uh, SD disc. We got all of our settings over here to adjust however we want it. Still has all the same functions plus more with this thing. So we get started. I need you to hit that like button and hit subscribe. And what we have here today is the Algo Laser Delta, the big brother to the Alpha. This thing right here is this first smart screen control. It's one of the smartest lasers here on the market. You can actually achieve laser engraving and cutting without connecting to other devices on the same. Now this, we can use our app or we can use this touch screen right here. Now what I'm going to go through today, I'm going to engrave some stuff using this touch screen on the strongest, smartest, 22 watt laser there is now with this laser it runs on a four core dual cpu supporting eight gigs of ram 16 megabytes of memory and a 32 gig sd card also with this machine it does have a lens cleaning reminder flame detection air process air pressure monitoring and a lot of other safety factors on here just to make this thing even smarter to help you out in the process to make your job even more safe now with this laser it's adapting the second generation cos technology that polarizes the beam combination to improve the performance of this by 40 percent which compared to regular 20 watts it's a huge difference especially when it comes to stuff like your your big deep cuts on acrylic, or if you're messing with some metal engraving, it's pretty amazing. And this, the amount of detail it's able to get, you're talking 40% smaller spot size. So at 3% power, you're 0 0.06, 0 0.05 millimeters. And 100% power, you're at 0.16 to 0.14 millimeters. Now, some of the first things you notice besides that touch screen is this is a lot bigger, more robust frame. Not just that it has more ground clearance right here, so you're able to stick down even bigger items underneath it. And on top of that, we have easy access for a rotary. That in return is going to allow us to do even more with this 22 watt diode. So some of the perks with this touchscreen on here, we're able to come up here and control our speed and move our laser head however we're wanting to, which is the push of a button. Then we can also come over here, control our air pump, whether we want 25%, 50%, 75%, or 100%. Now you can still use the little controller over here, but well, I use the touch screen. That way it's good. Out of the way, you don't have to worry about this cable. Once you have it set up, it makes it a little bit easier on yourself. Then we come over here and engrave. So we can have it, it has it, we can pull off a USB or SD. And right now we're going to just select it off the USB stick. So what I got going on right now, I am cutting out a puzzle on this machine. Now I'm strictly using this touch panel for all this, so it is a little more complex or complicated to try to get used to this. I'm not quite, I know I don't have the settings quite right right now because it is running faster and I would like it to run. Even though I am just running two millimeter wood on here for this puzzle, it, I think it was 90% on here. My speed's way too fast for this and 
that's all on me. I'm trying to learn this machine at the same time, just using this touchscreen panel. But I do have to say, once I get this going, it's gonna be great because I won't have to have a computer linked to this. I'll be able to run everything through this touchscreen, making it a lot easier on lining up stuff and work to do more stuff in the shop and make it easier on my everyday life. can be hard to see but as you see all the smoke around the shop from the laser that is something to keep in mind anytime you have a diode laser but we have our puzzle all cut out now what we're getting ready to do is some really thick acrylic cutting just to show y'all how strong this laser can be. Because like I said, this is a 22 watt and this is some really, really thick acrylic. And also you do gotta remember, do this in a well ventilated area because this smells awful when you're cutting acrylic and also it, it is not the most healthy thing to breathe And just to show you how thick this acrylic is, this 10 millimeter thick acrylic that we cut out with no issues. I did do four passes on this just to make sure it was through. Cause I know, cause if you remember last time we just did two and it started to come through last time, but that fourth pass, made this come out nice and clean. So to start things off today, I'm gonna to show you a little bit on this control panel. So we got our basic settings right here where we come through and move the position of where we want our laser. Now we come back here, of course like I said, they got your settings on here if we want Wi-Fi, your languages, screen setting sounds. Now this is the part, like I said, it's a little difficult to figure out at first, but we're gonna come over here and just pick a file at random. Now once we have that, we'll click engrave. Now it's asking what we're gonna use on here. We're gonna select wood, cause I have a piece of wood up here. And I always like high settings, so. Power, we don't really need 100% on here. Now, once we have everything set, I do gotta had to check to make sure my laser was lined up right. And that is all to it to get it to start laser engraving. It does make it real simple on here. And it took me a few minutes to figure out how to use this, but once I figured it out, it makes it real easy where everything's just loaded on my USB stick or SD drive. And here we are, laser engraving. Now this Algo laser with the touch screen on here, it is a breeze to use. Like I said, it did take me a few minutes to figure out how to use this touch screen. And I, I, I was wanting to start saying a few nice words to it at first, but it just took some time once I sat down because 
the one complaint is the user manual. There is not much information in there. There is a little bit that shows you some of the basics to it, but I had to do, it wasn't wanting to recognize a lot of, a lot of my memory sick and stuff like that. So I had to keep on playing with it to try to find the right type of file for it to work with. And in the end, it's hard to just recognize some basic JPEGs because for some reason I was having issues with it not wanting to recognize my light burn files. That could have been something I didn't save right on there. It's something I will keep on playing with just to make sure we get it working right. But overall, heck, it cut, it, cut out that puzzle no problem, which I was hoping to have it put together, but my wife is still working on that. It cut out this 10 millimeter acrylic like it was nothing. I do have to say their improvements that Algo did from just their basic alpha laser to this is tremendous. I would highly recommend this. Over the, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the regular alpha, but this one right here with the more ground clearance, the bigger area, the more robust frame and the touch screen to make it where I can go through and set my details with the Wi-Fi and USB or memory six so much more user friendly on that end. But I got work to do and it's not gonna do itself. Y'all take it easy.